Moving to Africa now, and since the end of December, more than 7,000 Nigerian refugees have crossed the border to Chad because of repeated assaults by the Islamic militant group Boko Haram. Our correspondent, Pierre Kloschendler, filed this report from a transit camp set up on Lake Chad by a humanitarian organization. A strange calm shrouds the lake. Fishermen are scanning the horizon, ready to extract refugees on the run. The refugees, they give you no money. It's the authorities who will give the fuel to pick them up and bring them here. Ngubua is a security zone, the red side of the blue side, dangerous, forbidden. The Nigerian localities nested on the shores of Lake Chad at around 30 miles from here are the target of repeated assaults by Boko Haram. General elections are scheduled in Nigeria this month, and tension is on the rise. Since the end of December, over 7,000 Nigerian refugees have crossed the watery border. This man yes, has I'm just arrived. My family, the Boko Haram, they killed my brothers and my junior brothers and my friends and my sisters. They killed their many people. This is the transit point of the refugees from Nigeria who fled the threat of Boko Haram. As you can see, these are canoes that can transport up to 200 refugees. This type of canoe is the preferred mode of transportation of the refugees, of the terrorists of the Islamic sect. The fear here is that suicide bombers might blend in with the targeted population. They touch land, we check, we search. The population, the military, the security agents, were always wary of Boko Haram. On this day, 3,500 refugees are assembled in the bush on the outskirts of the village. An improvised transit camp has been hurriedly set up by humanitarian organizations. We're here to secure the refugee population. We're fleeing Boko Haram. The Chadians have welcomed us. They've given us water and food. Broken families are waiting. Waiting for first aid. For a hot meal waiting to be extracted to the more permanent Dar es Salaam refugee camp, one hour by trail from here. Boko Haram, they're developing. Here in Gobua, it's a security zone. We must evacuate them. Where are you taking me? To the kitchens, where food is being prepared for the refugees. Chadian Red Cross volunteers prepare millet flour porridge. The hot meal distribution plunges the crowd into chaos triumph of the weak over the weakest in the measure of inequality. Yet, it's the poor helping the poor. The people here are poor. They don't have the capacities, the means to host other people. In the past four years, the Chadian authorities have opened the borders to over 10,000 refugees from Nigeria and expect to absorb twice as many. We now have what we call a humanitarian aid to development nexus. It's important to do both at the same time, development and humanitarian aid, so that we can obtain a full balance between the response at the humanitarian level and a reinforcement of infrastructures for both populations. It's a stressful reality for the refugees, for their Chadian hosts. People who have nothing are assisted by people who have almost nothing. Pierre Kloschendler, Ngubua, Chad, I-24 News.